65 EIU showing you a quick uh, sample of SDR control for the Mac running this on an M1 Mac and uh, got the uh, 7610 across the network uh, the log uh, is here and we're running FT8 on 20 meters and seeing uh, what kind of contacts we can make over here we'll uh, see if we can put one in the log I've locked uh, I can lock the uh, TX and RX over here so we'll wait for the next cycle and we'll go see if we can grab somebody in the log here's one here so we'll go ahead and transmit and you can see how this rate how the the radio screen goes red when you're transmitting and um, now we just wait for the cycle uh, this is real time so uh, I'm not going to edit this, so it'll be real time here. We'll see if he, if, if he comes back at all. It's a really slick piece of software. Uh, there's a, a sister app that runs on iOS on an iPad that uh, runs pretty well also. What's really nice is that um, the log, if you have the options selected, will... Uh, log out to your iCloud drive and it's one log so if I use the iOS app or I use the Mac app it uses the same log any QSOs I make in the iOS app or in the Mac app come from the same log out on the iCloud drive very very slick so here we go we've we've got a complete and we'll go ahead and save that QSO now I'm not sure why I have to go back through and I have to run this uh, utility here to complete the logbook data um, and I uh, pull it out of QRZ and I'll just process that and it fills it in and I was trying to figure out how to do that in real time but uh, cool uh, slick piece of software thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, if you haven't uh, haven't got it yet uh, strongly urge you to go out and grab a copy of it uh, either for your iPad or your Mac it's a lot of fun. AG5 EIU 73.